Properties all across the world can come in a wide variety of sizes and prices, though there are some that stand out at the top for being larger than everything else available. Welcome to Business As Usual, and today we'll be taking a look at the world's largest real estate properties. Sit tight and grab your wallet, because it's going to be an expensive ride. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more great content like this. Let's begin with number five on our list with a little place in London called Wittenhurst. Actually, it's a pretty big place. With 90,000 square feet, it's also the second largest residential estate in London after Buckingham Palace. Wittenhurst is a Georgian revival mansion and has had several important owners since being rebuilt by Sir Arthur Crossfield. It was originally built by architect George Hubbard and it's currently managed by Saffron Holdings. The mansion has 65 rooms spread across three floors, including 25 bedrooms. Its largest room is the ballroom, which measures 70 feet long with a height of 20 feet. It has oak flooring and the timber wall panels are in walnut, along with carved cornices embellished with gold leaf. Among its wide variety of rooms, it also features a drawing room, the dining room, the Chinese room, the billiard room, the gallery hallway, the study, and the entrance hall and staircase, of which most are built in an opulent classical style. The current owner of Wittenhurst is a Russian billionaire, Audrey Gurviev, who bought the property for $64 million in 2008. Today, the mansion said to be worth around $450 million. In fourth place of our countdown, we have the sprawling Safra Mansion, which is the largest private residence in Sao Paulo. Surrounded by a very high wall and even thicker wall of intrigue and mystery, the mansion is 117,000 square feet and there are very little photos of it online. There's information that the 130 room mansion comprises two swimming pools and an outdoor and indoor pool. And that's about it. It's slightly based on Villa Leopolda in the French Riviera owned originally by Lily Safra and her husband Edmund Safra, an important banker who died in a fire at the mansion back in 1999. It's currently managed by the Safra Group and the house is worth around $650 million owned by Lily Safra. The Biltmore Estate, located in Asheville, North Carolina, is the third largest real estate property in the world, built for George Washington Vanderbilt II between 1889 and 1895. At 178,926 square feet of floor space, it's also still owned by George Vanderbilt's descendants. The house was designed by architect Richard Morris Hunt and the landscape by Frederick Law Olmsted. The Biltmore Estate has some interesting history and facts surrounding its walls, as back in 1930, it was open to the public and offering accommodation in both its village hotel and four-star inn. Food, wine, and everything. It has 250 rooms, 43 bathrooms, five fireplaces, a bowling alley, a 23,000 book library, a huge indoor swimming pool, and many other amenities. The reason why this mansion was built is due to George Washington Vanderbilt II visiting the Asheville area constantly along with his mother, Maria Louisa Kissam Vanderbilt. So he was so in love with the scenery and climate that he decided to build his own summer house as a mountain escape. It was named Biltmore, combining DeBilt, his ancestor's place of origin, with more for more, as in an open rolling land. The estate is owned by the Biltmore Company and is worth around $64 million, though at its origin it cost around $6 million to build, which today could be around $1.6 billion in cost due to inflation. Antilia is one of the most expensive properties in the world. Located in the South Mumbai district of Mumbai, India, Antilia serves as the residence of Magnet, Managing Director, and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries, India's most valuable company by market value, billionaire Mukhresh Dhirubhai Ambani and his family. At 27 stories, 173 meters tall, and also 400,000 square feet, along with amenities such as three helipads, a 168-car garage, a ballroom, 80-seat theater, terrace gardens, spa, and a temple. It's also one of the most expensive homes in the world, valued at $2 billion. It cost around $1 billion to build and only houses the Ambani family and their 600 staff members. 
It's managed by Antilia Properties. Coming in at number one for the largest mansion is the official residence of the Sultan of Brunei, the Istana Nuro Iman. With a cost of 1.5 billion US dollars, the name of this palace means Palace of Light and Faith and was designed by architect Leandro V. Loxen. While its interior was designed by Kuan Chu, who also designed the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. The palace was completed in 1984. The residence boasts 1,788 rooms, 257 bathrooms, a 110 car garage, horse stables, a banquet hall, swimming pools, and even a mosque with space enough to gather 1,500 people. In total, Istana Nurul Iman contains 2,152,782 square feet of space. It features also 546 chandeliers, 51,000 light bulbs, 44 stairwells, and 18 elevators. Right now, the house has been estimated at $5 billion and is managed by the Brunei government. So, what do you think of these immense real estate properties? Would you like to own any of these in the future? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.